Since the announcement of Red Dead Redemption 2 back in 2016, there's been a belief and a hope that eventually the game would come to PC, maybe following a similar path that Grand Theft Auto V's PC version took. Now the big concern right now is that there's not been any official word on the game releasing on any other platform besides the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One that the game currently is on. We've heard Nintendo President and Chief Operating Officer Reggie recently answer a question from The Hollywood Reporter asking if they want Red Dead Redemption Redemption 2 on the Switch, and if it's going to be possible, in which they told them, absolutely, we'd love for it to be there. But again, and this is where there needs to be an understanding of just the development process, Red Dead has been in development for years, time that predated any communication of Nintendo Switch. So from the developer's mentality, they need to move forward and finish the game they've been working on, and then be in a position to look at other opportunities. Any game from a key third party that's coming out now, typically that development started well well before any conversations about the Nintendo Switch. What happens moving forward? We'll see. But that's how you wind up with a situation with Red Dead not being available on our platform. And to be quite frank, there's little to no chance Red Dead Redemption 2 will ever come to the Switch, and even if it's possible, I have my doubts Rockstar would even be interested in pouring resources into that. Now, the good news for PC players is while there hasn't been anything official yet, based on a number of leaks, I'd say it's probable that eventually, sometime soon, likely in 2019, we could be getting an announcement. Just two months ago, Rockstar Intel reported on the companion app for Red Dead Redemption 2, all but confirming a PC version of the game being in development. What was found was various pieces of code hinting and mentioning a PC version for the game, as well as VR compatibility with Oculus. Like one line that was found is parameter companion auto connect IP PC, and also command is PC version void, which I would guess is being in place because the PC version doesn't officially exist yet. And then we also have sign in PC app URL, which that actually points to a PC version of the companion app coming soon. Furthermore, GTA forum user Spidervice noticed in Red Dead Redemption 2's end credits a mention to Vulcan, which is a low-level API that likely is being used with a PC version, as PlayStation 4 games do not run on Vulcan, but instead a custom graphics API, GNM, and GNMX. Spidervice additionally outlined the new graphical settings that have been found in the companion app files for Red Dead Redemption 2. This includes something about max text upgrades per frame, could be maximum texture upgrades per frame, maybe something about texture blending, temporal anti-aliasing or the TAA also used on consoles has an on slash off switch, then we have sharpening which is to counter the TAA soft effect, there's checkerboarding which is enabled or disabled, velocity buffer enabled slash disabled again, this is for velocity based motion blur, lighting fog volumes quality, scattering volumes quality, volumetric lighting quality, and lastly EAPI likely to switch graphics API. Other than these actual possible details on the PC version, we also had a Rockstar employee's profile mentioning a PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2, and also Yan2295, a well-known Rockstar insider previously reported on a PC version being worked on and possibly coming June or July of 2019, but as he said recently, he's not sure if plans have changed. So there definitely seems to be a PC version in development, and it seems an announcement may not be too far away. This leads into the latest leak that has surfaced, and this may be our first footage of it. So I'm going to play it right now, and afterwards we'll break it down, as there's some interesting and key observations I personally have that I want to point out. So is this confirmed footage? Hell no. I hate when people use phone cameras or anything other than screen capture, but I imagine if this is indeed real, this had to come from someone working or connected to Rockstar. Additionally, there's no sound at all coming from the game, like not even a mouse click, something that people found suspicious, although I don't really see that as a defining factor that this is real or fake. Something I did find interesting is if you slow this footage down and compare it to the Xbox or the PlayStation 4 versions of the game, there are some minor differences. 
preferences. Like when this user hovers over the main menu text, they go from the map to the progress tab, completely skipping over the help tab, which would have to be some clever editing. Also with the video in slow motion, you can see a few times where text duplicates, or even when moving from tab to tab, the white text takes a second to revert back to black, which is not the case on consoles. When this user finally exits this display menu and heads back to the red main menu, for a brief second the menu appears in a bright ass yellow before turning to the bright red, which again is not the case on consoles, and actually even when this user clicks on the settings tab, at the start the red main menu fades to white, and you can see some type of border around the main menu text before it switches to the settings menu. Which from a little mini investigation on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, if this is some elaborate hoax, this user went to extreme lengths to perfect this. As with the console versions, everything is much smoother, which makes me wonder if this is real, then this is a build that has some noticeable issues. But looking at some of the more serious user comments on this, the one strange thing missing in this display menu is the temporal anti-aliasing, or the TAA, which the console version of the game uses. And I have to say, it's it's a major oversight if this is indeed doctored footage, something I find hard to miss, especially with the effort that may have gone into making this. With that said, this PC version is in development, and I don't find it crazy to think that Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, or FXAA, which is in the menu, is being worked on first, and then Temporal Anti-Aliasing will be added next. Overall though, it's hard to say if this is real or fake. There's been elaborate hoaxes in the past, but there's just some noticeable differences here that make me lean to saying that this is the real deal, although I could be wrong. Back in January of 2014, a similar PC version leak emerged for Grand Theft Auto V, and at the time it looked legit, and I think people still to this day think it was legit. But the person who made the fake leak footage actually stole someone's gameplay and used After Effects to make it look like it was on the PC. Additionally, 15 months later, the PC version released, and the PC settings menu in-game looked completely different. So unfortunately, we live in an age that when anything Thing appears mysteriously or randomly, or as potato quality, people see it immediately as a fake, and a lot of the times, that is the case. But in this specific situation, I want to believe it's real because it seems like it is. The icons look real, and there's a build number matching the ones that the consoles launched on, but in the back of my mind, I'm also thinking that someone with too much time could have put all of this together. So I'm really not certain what to believe, but what I do know for sure is that a PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2 is in development coming sometime in 2019. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with a question I'm still pondering about. Do you think this footage is real or fake? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will also leave an update in the comments if there is an update to this story in the near future. But thank you guys and gals for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. 